out here walking around the woods I come to this place here this is actually one of my moral spore places where I've made moral mushroom spore and put it and a couple of people have asked me questions that I realized I didn't answer in my previous videos so I kind of want to go over that the one thing you have to remember if you make moral mushroom spores they're not necessarily going to come up that first year maybe not even the second year but one thing I left out of the video is when you put that spore out on your property, so you dilute it with water, then you pour it out. Wherever you pour it out, you have to keep that area moist. And because mine are almost always coming out here into the woods somewhere, I use natural materials, leaves, sticks, kind of see there there's a couple of inches of like material on the ground where I've dumped that so not only do you have to put something over that spore area to hold in the moisture if there's any dry spells you also need to keep that area wet now I've seen some people use like plastic containers, like bowls turned upside down over it. I've never done that. Maybe that works. I've seen people use like two liter Coke bottles. I've never done that. Maybe it works. But I just use a couple of inches of uh, material. You have to excuse me, my cat's right up, rubbing up against my legs and all kinds of stuff. But I basically just use like wood chips, leaves, whatever I've got local to the area where I make that at. And then I almost always, you can kind of tell, you know, there's a stick that comes out here. There's a stick that comes down over there. There's a block of wood here. There's a tree right there. So I've kind of like marked off a square area just using natural materials. I put the spore liquid spores within this square area I put a couple of inches of whatever I can find on the ground leaves wood chips sticks and then I basically come back later and water it if there's a dry period because in order for that spore to work it's got to stay wet if it dries out it it's going to stun its growth or maybe not grow at all so that's kind of like what i left out of the previous videos and i'm going to upload this to correct that missing information to kind of help some people out and uh, hopefully that works for you again if you don't have you know natural materials you could try the bowls you could try the two liter pop bottle jug things you could try glass jars i've seen people use mason jars um, all of that will keep the moisture trapped in that spot you just have to be mindful of like how much you're pouring out in one area now this right here's probably got you know i I make five gallons of the solution, then I dilute it. I use one quart and five gallons. So however many quarts are in five gallons. Um, with one quart of the spore solution. And then I dumped five gallons into about a 10 foot by 10 foot area. Covered it up with biomass and all that stuff. And uh, that, that's kind of how I originally got this area right here going. Yeah, now the chickens are up to something anyways good old life on the homestead thanks for watching hope this helps you out and as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads